Hey everybody, Joshua Dunsky here. And today I wanna to talk to you about a process that we use to help people make the decisions that they wanna make. Uh, this process is called the cake recipe, and actually I just learned that term um, a few months ago from someone who I think coined it, Jackson Parr, uh, who does a great job explaining what this process really is. I've been using this process, I think, since I started practice to help people get to their health goals, to help them achieve those things that they wanted to achieve. Um, and I learned it from a coaching system. Uh, but it's called the cake recipe because everybody can do it. Anyone can do it if you can follow these steps, just like baking a cake. You just have to follow the program, put two eggs, put a cup of flour, measure this, measure that. It works. And our team has been exploding with this program ever since we introduced it. And so that's what I want to share with you today. Um, so I'm going to share my screen here and I want to take you to the cake recipe. And again, this is not to make someone do something that they wouldn't do. This is to help take them from that logical state to the emotional state. The, the, the logical state is um, the logical state is what allows people to see objections okay it allows people to see the roadblocks the emotional state state is where they see value unfortunately the logical brain can oversee or overshadow the emotional brain and so people never take that step towards achieving that weight loss achieving whatever health goal they have that challenge um, it can be a financial situation too. Um, getting that new promotion, uh, stepping out and creating an own entity, whatever it is, um, this is this is why we use this. Um, and so there are seven basic questions, and um, and I'll, I'll go through these with you, and then you can practice on your own and whatnot. Um, the first question is: No matter what your prospect says to you, how much is the program? What is the program? Whatever it is, can I ask you a few questions to see if I can help. That's number one. We want to ask for permission. No matter what they ask you, okay, this starts to remove or push aside that logical brain and, and steers them towards that emotional place. Number two, what's your ultimate goal? Linda, what is your ultimate goal? It gets to the point, right? I'm not making an assumption. I can talk to someone that's overweight, but this person wants to make an extra $400 a month, an extra $1,000 a month, $1,000 a week, whatever it is. I can never assume what that person is looking for. Um, so whether it's weight, putting on muscle, energy, performance, whatever it is, financial, we wanna ask them what their ultimate goal is. Linda, what are two to three areas that you're unhappy with, you are uncomfortable with, or that you dislike about your body? Very important to ask that too. So remember, this process, the cake recipe for the why, is because the why makes them commit. It's not, I want to lose weight. That's not their why. It's why they want to lose weight. Okay? So that leads into step number four. Why is it that um, those areas are important to you? Um, you know, if they want to lose weight in, in, or they don't look good in their pants or they have uh, a tummy that they can't get rid of. Okay? You want to stay in this place with them and you want to go deep. So if Linda says to me, I want to lose weight. Okay? Why is it? Why is that important to you to lose weight? Well, because, you know, everybody else looks good and I'm 45 years old and I want to lose weight. Well, why? Well, because I've been overweight all my life. Okay, so how does that make you feel? It makes me feel poor about myself. I, I have a lot of self-confidence issues. I'm embarrassed to go to um, my cousin's wedding that's coming up in June. You know, I've always, always been made fun of. So you want to go deeper and deeper and deeper in this place. And this is where the magic happens. If you just say, if they say, I want to lose weight, and you go on to the next question, you're missing the point. So you have to deep dive into this, and you'll feel people pause. You'll feel, feel people slow down. They're, they may well up. Um, this is where the emotion starts to happen, and that's what you want to have happen, because what good is it with someone for, for someone to enroll in a program where they're just going to return tomorrow because they're having buyer's remorse? No good. That's because they haven't seen the value, or they never enroll. They need to see the value, which will outweigh and overshadow, it's too expensive, I don't think I can do this, whatever their objections are. It's just, an objection is them not seeing the value yet, and that's partly our you know, fault, uh, or our challenge. So number five, Linda, how long have you felt this way? And again, stay here. Well, you know, I've been like this all my life, right? That's powerful for someone to say, I've been like this for 10 years. So you think about it, 
we have a 30 day program. How could someone not try something for 30 days? She's been struggling for 10 years. So I'm gathering this information because this is all going to build up the presentation if the last part doesn't work and the, and the last part doesn't allow someone to enroll. I'm going to use this. Linda, you've been like this for 10 years. You've tried 17 programs before. You know, how could you not want to try a program that's guaranteed to make you happy or you get your money back for the products? So that's why these questions are here. So really use them, but go into them. Linda. Do you have something coming up uh, or, or, you know, in the, in the near future that you want to work towards? I tell people I'm very goal-oriented. Oriented. Um, you have a wedding, a vacation. You mentioned your cousin's wedding is coming up. Okay? She says, my cousin's wedding on June 15th. Excellent. Awesome. So by June 15th, I want you at your goal. And guess what? I'm going to do this with you. Okay? If they don't have a goal coming up, you say, great. Let's make one. Let's create one. Do you want a short-term or long-term goal? If they want a short-term goal, Let's do the 30 day, right? It feeds right into our system. If they want a long-term goal, great. You know, they, let's do the 90, let's do a 90 day program. Um, so again, ask them, listen to them, and then just move forward with whatever direction that they're taking. Is Linda, how would you feel if positive? How would you feel if negative? So there's four parts, there's A, B, C, and D. Linda, how would you feel if by June 15th, you're able to fit into those pants, fit into that cocktail dress for your cousin's wedding, okay? Stay here, let her answer, okay? This is where it becomes emotional, even more emotional, okay? When she's done, Linda, how would you feel if by June 15th, you didn't achieve that goal and you weren't, even, if you weren't able to get into those jeans or you know, feel the way and look the way you wanted to look? How would that feel to you? And again, wait, pause, let her answer, okay? How would you feel positive? How would you feel negative? C, Linda, no worries. I'm super glad we're having this talk right now and I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen, okay? And then D, so if I could show you a way to fit into those genes that by June 15th, you feel the way you wanna feel, you look the way you wanna look, would you like to get started? And then pause. Don't say anything after that, let them answer. It'll dictate which path we go down. Super, super important. If at this point they say, so if at this point they say yes, but only if I could afford it. Great, take that objection. Excellent, if you could afford it, would you like to get started, right? Because now you don't have time to, to Mickey Mouse around. You don't have time for people that aren't serious. It doesn't mean they have to get started right away. We know someone could take five exposures, eight exposures, sometimes 12 contacts for someone to enroll but at least you're working smart now by cutting to the chase. If you could afford it, would you like to get started? She says yes, great. She says no, well then we know what we're dealing with and you're not gonna waste a lot of time, okay? So at this point, that's it. Practice this, practice this, practice this. I can't tell you enough, enough. I think this is the most valuable tool that we have. Um, Lisa just met someone on Instagram two days ago, brand new, in the, in the conversation she, she set up with them, did the cake, and rolled him like that. That doesn't always happen. I've done this and have, to, and have had five follow-ups too. But the follow-ups were very, very valuable, very, very quick, concise. I got the, um, the prospect what they needed and, um, you know, and, and we were able to move forward efficiently.